Okay, so how do you spot an internet scammer? Um, to be honest with you, there's multiple types of people out there, and they're doing it all in different ways. But there's a lot of things that are very similar. Because um, there's a lot of transgender guys out there which are uh, chasing the guys for cash. Um, I remember a friend of mine been dating this person online. Um, and they said they hadn't paid the rent for two months and they moved in there and without paying the deposit. You, that doesn't happen in the Philippines. That's why if you ever have any stupid things happen to you, you can just ask me and I'll tell you, no, that would never happen. Because they don't do it. You know, Nobody would let you move into a house without paying any rent in the West. Why would you expect them to do it in the Philippines? But anyway, so they paid the rent, da, da, da. so he sent some money over, and he didn't feel comfortable about the whole event. So he just asked me, could I have a look at their profile? Um, so I looked at the profile, got a name, I then ran their name through various things, got another five Facebook profiles, I then got a Yahoo and other accounts. Now this person had never been out of the Philippines. Yet it managed to be be to uh, Thailand to have a sex change operation. Um, well, just the first half, and never been out of her local town. Yet I found photos of her in Cebu on another account, and it da 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 da. And I'm thinking this isn't right. You know, the, you know, didn't look like a woman to me. If you know what I mean, it's not. Um, not a hundred percent. I don't. If it's not a hundred percent, it's probably very likely a guy. So, but my sister-in-law instantly said that's a guy. You know, there's no, uh, no messing. My sister-in-law is always right on these things. So he's got a, a natural instinct on spotting the gay. And with that, um, we confront. You know, I gave him the information because. It's not for me to get involved, but here you go. This is basically everything I found on the internet. And it slowly rattled down uh, to the point that I think they eventually admitted that they were a guy. And the fact is they were lying about some of this stuff. Obviously, they wouldn't admit all of it, um, but some of it. That's one type of person. Because what they do is they'll date multiple people. Um, they make a living by sitting on the internet. Um, they pretend to be the victim, and, but they're actually more of a predator because <laughs> they know how to manipulate things um, for their own convenience. So that that's one type of person. Um, in the same way, you'll get women do this. Uh, I remember seeing this myself in my own internet cafe, where there was five women. And there's a gay guy that taps away at the keyboard because he's doing the talking for them because their English isn't good. So he's actually doing all the, the chatting away when their boyfriends are online. Now, to be honest, they're not really scamming for anything more than lying to the fact that they don't speak English um, because they're not asking for money. They, they're just just poor people, but they are, they're looking for that guy that's going to lift him out of poverty, but he'll be in a bit of a shock when he turns up to the Philippines and finds the the translator is um, a little, the uh, a gay guy we know, and their partner has no single word of English in their vocabulary. Um, not a major one for a lot of people, but for others, there might be a bit of a shock. Because uh, they'll sit there on webcam, they'll be sat like this, and the keyboard has been typed away. You know, you, you can't see my hands, you can't see if I'm typing or not. And that's basically how they do it. But then you get to the ones that do the 30 minutes. What they do is they'll be logged on. Um, they'll look for you wherever you are. It could be Facebook, it could be on these chat and dating sites, whatever. And they'll go, hi, what's your name? Da -da -da. Where are you from? Da -da -da. Same questions, even like on Facebook, I get it now and again. Now, they'll ask you, oh, are you married? 
Now Facebook tells them I'm married already, so you know already they're no, not even bothered looking at your profile to to even skip over the fact, going oh he's married, move on to the next person. They're just doing this like a like a robot. They're just like uh, next person did it. Chat 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 chat. Oh my daughter's sick. Um, my aunt sick or they'll come out with these stories straight up oh um can you buy me a webcam it'd be nice for us to chat on the webcam and all this stuff. they don't need any of this stuff i'll tell you that now the philippines is full of internet calves and they all have webcams you don't have to send them twenty dollars for you just send them ten um ten pesos and that'll give them an hour on the internet cap but this is how they work. It's like, oh, I wish we could chat, but my laptop doesn't have any, a webcam. That's because it's not a laptop. You're sat in an internet cafe. But they are doing the 30 minutes. They're trying to hit you in the first 30 minutes because if, you, if they don't get a bite off you, they're trying to find the next person. And they'll go through that all day long. Now, the other problem with these people is they are parasites. Um, the reason I say that is because they're generations now. They would have learned some of these things from their parents. Their mother would have done this. Um, they're teaching the next generation how to scam money out of people. And it may shock some people, but even a friend of mine was telling me about his daughter. Um, because it's not a daughter, daughter. It's like, um, it's not his biological daughter. And he he's split with that woman anyway now. He's you know he's, he's split with his wife, but she was um, she'd actually roped him into the marriage a long time ago using similar tactics. But he could see she was already doing it now with her daughter to set her up for getting a foreigner for herself. Some are taking it for money. Some are just manipulating things beyond belief. Um, but those those are the main types of problems you're going to come across on the internet and I would say never send money I don't care why somebody says they need it it's not your problem it was never your problem before you don't know these people you, you haven't met them you have no connection with them except for a few words that you've spoken on the internet don't get dragged into their problems because a lot of those problems don't even exist uh, thanks for watching